Mina, Kon Banwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Going on to Judges chapter 3, because it's given chapter 2, because I plan on doing chapter 2 tomorrow in depth. Want to, uh, I'd like to cover that in a, like a full blown message, because I think there's a lot of good stuff in that chapter. So, skipping ahead to chapter 3, we see a cycle that's repeated a lot throughout all of the Old Testament, all the way through the book of 2 Chronicles, and it starts here. So Joshua chapter 3, starting at verse 7. So the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. They forgot the Lord their God and served the Baals and Asherahs. Therefore the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he sold them into the hand of Cushan Rishathaim, king of Mesopotamia. And the children of Israel served Cushan Rishathaim eight years. When the children of Israel cried out to the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer for the children of Israel, who delivered them, Othniel the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother. Jump down to verse 11, so the land had rest for 40 years, then Othniel the son of Kenaz died. And the children of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord strengthened Eglon, king of Moab, against Israel, because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. Now jump down to verse 15, but with the children of Israel cried out to the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer for them. Ehud the son of Gera, the Benjamite, a left-handed man. By him the children of Israel sent tribute to Eglon, king of Moab. <clears throat> and so the cycle continues on and 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 on where the Israelites keep falling into sin, crying out to God once judgment hits. God sends a judge, a judge to deliver them. That's a whole other point I could get into in regards to judgment in general. We'll get into it here. Again, most chapters have so many good points I can just draw out. But this is the one I'm focusing on here. They fall into sin, judgment delivers them out of their sin, then the judge passes away, they fall back into sin. They cry out to God once they're oppressed, once judgment hits. God sends a judge to judge them, and then they're delivered. And those two th stories I just read keep going and going and going and going and going. And there's your synopsis of the book of Judges. You almost don't even need to read it because that's the story over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. You should still read it though, it's the word of God. It's a good read. Some really good life lessons and some of God's movements and some of his appearances and some of his doings are in the book. So please actually read it. That's a really good synopsis. Israel sins. God punishes them. They cry out for help. God sends a judge to deliver them. They're free for the duration of the judge's life. The judge dies and then you rinse and repeat. And a lot of Christians do that in their lives. They keep falling into the same old traps, the same old sins. And God has a way out. It says in, I believe, 1 Corinthians 10, Google is your friend, that the Lord will not put on you anything that you cannot handle. He, or he won't allow any temptation to come upon you that you can't overcome. Not so much the latter. The latter is a more popular way of saying it. It's actually a verse saying he won't allow you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. So if a temptation comes your way, you can win if you turn to the Lord and seek his grace and seek his help. And another verse in the book of Hebrews, you haven't resisted to blood yet. In other words, you haven't like literally sacrificed you haven't bled in resisting this sin. You haven't undergone just, you know, a physical trauma to resist the sin. No, it comes your way. You honestly like it. You give in. Stop giving in. Start turning yourself over to God and more specifically his judgment and be set free of that thing so you can serve him with your whole heart. Again, like just like yesterday, I feel like this message applies to me on so many levels. Um, so I'm preaching to myself here too, guys. I also have problems that need to be dealt with. I have things that the Lord needs to judge and he needs to, um, he needs to get me for, and I'm praying that he will. I'm praying that he will eventually, you know, break my will and break these bad habits. And I believe that he's stronger than me and I believe I will win because even though I've fallen into the trap, I'm going to at the very least cry out to the Lord to deliver me and through Whatever judgment he sends, I believe I will be set free. And the sooner the better, because I want to live for him and for his kingdom. Thank you guys for watching this video. Love you guys. God bless.